I've always loved the idea of, of art because art's one of those great concepts like religion and love and and everybody associates to it differently you know and, and art I think in some ways teaches you to look at things differently particularly photography and when you learn to look at something differently the world changes for you and I think ultimately you're you, you can change yourself through that process and the basket not only shows you art that other people do it teaches you how to you know personally participate in art and I think that's a great that's a great thing. I started photography when I was in junior high school and um, um, my first digital camera I got five or six years ago and I was becoming lazy uh, setting it on automatic and letting the camera do some of the some of the work but but Greg was very good at, at stressing the point put it put it in manual and really give some serious thought to what you're doing. I ask everybody what their expectations are for the class and an outcome. What outcome do they want after the two days? What do they want to walk away knowing? What's the thing that inspires them most to learn? And the more the buy-in comes from the group, the better it is for me as an idea how to teach, but also for their, their enjoyment and we can say, well, what are the things that we want to do when we want to shoot a landscape? Well, the light's got to be conducive to a great shot. The exposure has to be absolutely right, so we have to know how to meter. We have to compose it properly. We have to know where to put the horizon, where the clouds are going to be, what time of the day, et cetera, et cetera. And I finally got a digital SLR, and I wanted to really learn how to use it when I saw the class was available. You know, I, I signed up, and, uh, and it was—it was really exceeded all of my expectations. It was a great, it was a great experience. Because everybody has a skill set. As long as their outcome at the end of the class is what they were expecting, and they walk away feeling that they can build on that, and that they've achieved what they wanted to achieve. The first evening, we went out to, to Iron Bridge to take pictures of waterfalls. And it was amazing over the course of probably two or three hours how much the light had changed. And one of the things we were supposed to pay attention to is the, just how everything changes with the light. And I'd never in my life stood anywhere and watched something for three hours just to notice those nuances. But it, it really was a great revelation. Friday afternoon we went out uh, down to Horse Cove to the Iron Bridge and did some scenes there and then came back um, on Saturday and evaluated and looked at those and did some uh, manipulation through Photoshop of, of the images. We took a tiny piece of the picture and we darkened the corner and that's all we did to the whole picture. I think you were in there when, when we were doing it. To see that people look at it and go, how does that change everything? How does just putting a shadow in a corner make such a difference? He was very patient and, and, and really helped everybody improve where they wanted to improve and he, he recognized, okay, you need to work on this, you need to work on that. And some of his experience, some of his photos were just absolutely amazing. And one of my favorite parts of the class is he threw up a, a, a picture of Nelson Mandela and it was just, it was an amazing photograph and I mean, it almost made me cry. When he talked about what he had to do to get that, to get that photograph, it was, it was really fantastic. Mm -hmm.